teacups and welcome to vlogtober episode three so for today i have some footage of when i went to barnes and noble yesterday and i you know there's just nothing quite like going to the bookstore but especially going to the bookstore during fall it is just so cozy so relaxing so before i insert that footage i actually have a request for you guys so i've been thinking about what kind of content i want to do for the month of october and of course i'm gonna do like a spooky reading vlog like i always do but i wanted to do an additional scary video so i was thinking about this and i actually got this idea from one of my favorite podcasts it's called unsolicited advice and every october they do an october series where they read uh, the scary stories that were sent in from their listeners so I started thinking about that and I was like what if I read scary stories sent in from you guys so if you have a scary story or you know it could be like a personal experience or something that happened to one of your friends or a relative please send it to my email my email is abigail's cup of tea at gmail.com and make sure to put in the subject line spooky story so I know what it is but yeah please send it my way and I might just end up reading it for vlog so I am very excited for that I'm also very excited for the spooky reading vlog and yeah without further ado here is the footage from my trip to Barnes & Noble of Witches by Rachel Griffin. This is one of the books I'm going to be reading for the Sweater Weather Readathon, and I'll have both of my videos about that readathon linked down below. But I am so excited to have my hands on this beautiful book, and it is also so beautiful underneath the dust jacket. And what primarily sparked my interest in this book is I was reading the back of it and one of the reviews on the back said that this is perfect for fans of Taylor Swift's folklore. So that's what really sparked my interest. I hope that it lives up to all of the hype. I've seen this all over Bookstagram and so far I've seen nothing but good things. So I hope I love this. And a quick summary is 
Clara Densmore is an ever witch. For centuries, witches have maintained the climate, their power peaking in the season of their birth, but their control is faltering as the atmosphere becomes more erratic. All hope lies with Clara, whose rare magic is tied to every season. From a stunning new voice comes a story about a powerful witch who must decide if using her volatile magic to help the world is worth the price of losing the person she loves the most. I am just so excited for this. Also, the author of this, she's so cute. I'm so excited. I wanna be friends with her. She sounds cool. <laughs> and then the other book I picked up is the third and final book in a Good Girl's Guide to Murder trilogy. This is called As Good As Dead. And I love how the tape on this is like raised. It feels like so cool. I love when there's like texture on book covers and I'm very excited for this. I'm not gonna read like too much of the inside in case, you know, there's spoilers, but it does say, you'll never think of good girls the same way again. <laughs> so I have actually only read the first book in the series, but I will say I absolutely devoured this book in one sitting. So I'm very confident that I will love the rest of the books. I'm going to be reading the second book, which is Good Girl, Bad Blood for the Sweater Weather Readathon. So very excited about my new books. And if you are participating in the Sweater Weather Readathon, I would love to know what you will be reading. So it's a little bit later now and I'm currently in my closet because I started thinking about what I want to be for Halloween this year. I love dressing up for Halloween and I kind of came up with this little challenge in my brain. <laughs> I want to see how many costumes I can come up with using only items in my wardrobe. So I have quite a few Harry Potter things throughout my wardrobe. So I'm thinking I could come up with a couple of Harry Potter character ideas. And hopefully by the end of this video, I will know what I want to be for Halloween. <laughs> so let's see what we can come up with. Also, I did buy some hair extensions, which you may have seen this on my Instagram. <laughs> um, they are very easy to photograph, but for videos, I do have some trouble blending them in with my hair because my hair is kind of on the shorter side and also it is more of a blunt cut. And my hair is pretty poofy so it's kind of hard to get them to blend with the extensions but I did get some nice long extensions and I thought that these would look really cool for not only day-to-day -day life but also Halloween as well I think that these will be great for especially a Luna Lovegood outfit but yeah, so I'm gonna try to blend these in with my hair. I think I might just go with braids for the time being because, like I said, <laughs> this is this is very poofy hair we're working with. Okay, extensions are in, and this really makes me want to grow my hair out because I feel amazing with long hair. <laughs> like, and I feel like the color blends in very nicely with my natural color, so. That's so exciting. Like I said, I do have trouble blending it in when it's not braided, but braids are a great option until my natural hair grows out a little bit longer so I can blend it better, but oh, this is so fun. <laughs> okay, so now on to the costume challenge. So option number one, Definitely something Hufflepuff, like a Hufflepuff student. It's always a good excuse to wear my Hufflepuff robes. Um, so I do have a full Hufflepuff student uniform. And I also, oh man, I gotta, I gotta set something down. <laughs> okay, I also recently, when I went to Universal Studios, I bought the Hufflepuff Quidditch jumper. I think that would look really cool with a quaffle or like a, a golden snitch, but I don't actually own either one of those items, but this would still be a very simple, easy costume to do. 
Oh, this would also look really great with a broomstick as well. I could get just like a very inexpensive broomstick from a Halloween store, but that would be breaking the rules of the challenge. So we're just gonna stick to what's in my wardrobe. Okay, so here is my full on Hufflepuff outfit. And I have not worn my robes since I was at Universal Studios. And I just feel emotional for some reason. <laughs> I just really miss Hogwarts. And this, this outfit feels like home. So I really love this. I've got my Quidditch jumper on. I have my headband, my scarf, my Newt Scamander wand. And a nice thing about these robes is that they have a wand pocket on the inside. So yeah, I very much like this. Oh, and for my shoes, I am wearing my Daisy printed tennis shoes from Princess Polly. And this video is not sponsored, but I do have a Princess Polly code that is good for one more week. And you can use the code Abigail20 for 20% off. Another item that would look really cute with this is this daisy bag from the common room shop and i'll have that linked down below i will also link two items that i did a collab with with the common room shop so yeah i'm very excited about that but i do think that this bag looks great with the hufflepuff outfit and i also think that i should do more harry potter fashion videos because i'm getting really into this <laughs> option number two this is something that I wore to Universal Studios last year, and it was so much fun. This is my Fleur Delacour costume. And then I also have the hat as well. So this would be a really fun Halloween costume, especially with the longer hair. Let me stick this on my head for a second. <gasps> that would be so cute. Wait, is this my costume? I don't know. I like that a lot. Plus, I haven't worn this since last year, so it'd be really fun to wear that again. So here's the Fleur Delacour dress, and I love this. And I especially love it with the hair extensions. I think it really adds to it. So I don't know how I'm going to decide. <laughs> I kind of love them all, so I might need your guys' help. <laughs> Option three, Luna Lovegood. Now, I... Okay, so I have Luna Lovegood's wand, the one with the tulip looking handle, but for some reason, I cannot find it anywhere. But I do have Luna Lovegood's original wand. So this came with the collector's wand set of like the Dumbledore's army. Um, so I do have Luna Lovegood's original wand, so we can work with that. And then I'm thinking this lavender cardigan and then maybe kind of mix it with this blue skirt. Would that be good? It's kind of a Luna Love Good aesthetic, I think. Here is my makeshift Luna Love Good outfit, and I am actually obsessed. <laughs> I really love this. I think I should add some mix match socks with it. Oh, and then of course I added my Spectra Specs from Barnes & Noble, but I don't know guys, I think this might be the one. This is so fun! I do love the Hufflepuff one though, but I've never been Luna Love... No wait, I have been Luna Love good for Halloween before. But not like this, not in this outfit, so... And not with the hair extensions. Like I said, I think I should do more Harry Potter fashion videos because I'm just really into this. Okay, final costume idea. This is something that I am really excited about because this is something so opposite from what I would normally wear and it's so opposite from my personality and my Hogwarts house. It's basically as opposite as you could get from who I am. <laughs> and that's why I think that this would be fun for Halloween because it would be more on the dark side. And so my idea is to be Narcissa Malfoy. And so I only have two black items in my wardrobe. So I have this black top and then I have this black skirt and then I could wear some black tights. And then I don't have her wand, but I do have a wand that is very similar. It is Lita Lestrange's wand from Fantastic Beasts. So as you can see here, 
this is a pretty similar design to Narcissa's. It does have like the black and silver. It's very sleek, elegant, and on the darker side. So I think that would be so fun. And then maybe instead of being Narcissa Malfoy, I could be Narcissa Black. So when she's still a Hogwarts student, so I could wear Harold's Slytherin scarf with that. That would be really cool. So. Yeah, that would be a really fun option because like I said, that is so opposite from what I am. <laughs> I have to say it is so weird seeing me be a Slytherin. Like, what is this? Like my alter ego. <laughs> So here is the Narcissa Black outfit. I've also added some white pointed boots because I feel like Narcissa would have been a fashion icon back in the day, so. I mean, she still is. If I lived close to Universal Studios, I would so wear this to the Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> this is so much fun. This is the most fun I've ever had making a video. So that is it for today's Vlogtober episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know in the comments down below which costume was your favorite because I am still undecided, <laughs> but at least I have a lot of options. Also, let me know if you have any video requests for this month and I will see you guys on Sunday for Vlogtober episode four. Bye. Yeah.